Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss what is the need of fault tolerance in Kafka and how Kafka achieves fault tolerance. So let us start. So we have a producer who is interested to send some data and we have a consumer who is interested to read the data. We have Kafka cluster that facilitates the transfer of data from producer to consumer. And in our Kafka cluster, we have multiple brokers. Producer will send data to topic which may have multiple partitions and each partition will be sitting on a different broker. Now what happens when a broker goes down? This is a very common scenario in data centers that a server may go down because of any issue. Our end users should not be impacted by that. But here, if a broker goes down, consumer will not be able to consume data from that specific partition which was stored on that broker. So how does Kafka handle this situation? Kafka handles this situation by replication. So what Kafka will do, it will make multiple copies of each partition and distribute it on different machines. So we have a producer, we have a cluster, there are multiple brokers. If we don't have copies of partition, that partition will be on only one machine. But when Kafka makes multiple copies of that partition, if one of the broker is down, the data can be read from other brokers. Now the question is how many copies? Ideally, there should be three copies. If you are from Hadoop world or Spark world, you will be very easily able to relate with this number. But if you are not from Hadoop or Spark world, then you may think why not two? Well, if you have two copies, then it is considered less because server failures are very common in data centers. If you have more than three copies, that means you're wasting a lot of your storage in making copies. So that is also not right. So three is generally considered as a standard. Let us see one more example. Suppose you have three brokers. We have a topic A, which has two partition, partition one and partition two. Our replication factor is two. So they have a replica stored on other brokers. Now, if broker A goes down, I have all the partitions already available on B and C. So my applications will not get impacted. If broker B goes down, then I still have all the partitions available on broker A and C and my application will not be impacted. If broker C goes down, I still have all the partitions available at broker A and broker B. My application will still be intact. Next question is now multiple brokers have same partition because of the replica. How will consumer know which broker to connect and how will producer know that which broker to connect to send the data? For this, Kafka has a concept called leader and ISR. You have three brokers, two partitions and their replicas. One of the replica will be a leader. Here broker A is a leader for partition one. So broker A will fulfill all the write and read requests from producer and consumer. Broker B will just take care of making sure that it has the right copy of partition one. So broker B will be ISR for the partition one of topic A. ISR stands for in sync replica. Similarly for partition two, broker B will be the leader and broker C will be the ISR. Next question is who helps us deciding in the leader or ISRs? Zookeeper is a service which helps us deciding that which broker will be the leader and which broker will be the ISR. Now, if one of the broker goes down, which was a leader, then Zookeeper will conduct an election which will help us select next leader for that specific partition. Let us summarize. So replication helps us in bringing fault tolerance in Kafka. Ideally, you should have three replicas of each partition. Out of all the replicas, there will be one leader and others will be ISR. Only leader will take care of accepting the right or read request. Replicas will just make sure that they are in sync with the leader's partition. Zookeeper helps us decide that who is going to be the leader of all the replicas. In next video, we'll talk about consumer and consumer group. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel.